Today on Six in the Mix, it's New Year's Eve. And before we say hello to 2019, Jen and I reminisce about our favorite moments of the past year. And our man in the mix joins us to chat about the videos that broke the internet in 2018. And we check in with Kit Hoover and Scott Evans with the memorable Hollywood moments of the year. And of course, we say cheers with some champagne etiquette with the experts from Moet Chandon. Six in the Mix starts now. Hello and happy last Monday of 2018. Oh, that's right. I'm like Joanna that. Gomez. Hey there, I'm Jen Herrera. Yes, it is the last Monday indeed and just hours away from 2019. So we thought, why not look back at our favorite moments? There has been a lot of them. Oh my God, where do we past start? Year. <laughs> well, since we have to figure it out, let's start off with one of my top moments, all right? Getting in the mix with Little Havana mm -hmm. and the cultural gem it has become. By the way, I got nominated for an Emmy for that. I'm just going to throw that in there. Look at this girl. As shown during the Viernes Culturales. Take a look. Just plug. Just saying. Just saying. Oh, I hear the music already. Yes. So one of the things that, that I love about this area is the fact that none of this is staged whatsoever. This you, is it. This is it. What you see is what you get. Should we get some coffee? We're actually going to. Want some coffee? Cafecito, right? I absolutely love uh, Los Pinareños Fruteria, which is where we're going now. Okay. It's one of the oldest cafeterias in Miami. It's like a slice of the Cuban countryside in Coyote. Like I said, this is not staged whatsoever. It's part of the community. Uh, it's what happens in here every day. There are a lot of tourists here too now yeah. around that I've, I've noticed that I, I don't think a couple of years ago was so prevalent. No, I want to say the last three years, uh, the, the tourism here has boomed. And actually, Little Havana right now is the largest tourist attraction in Miami. How are you? How are you doing? How are you doing? Que si los jóvenes no se involucran, la historia se pierde. Las raíces de los latinos y más de los cubanos. So you asked me how I chose the people for the, for the National Trust Project. And I chose them simple because they're not what you would imagine a Cuban Little Havana person is. Right. You imagine, you know, only Cubans, and yes, there's a lot of Cubans here, and, they, and I chose them, like Guillermina. They came from Cuba, opened this shop, one of the oldest shops in Miami, and look how beautiful it is. Oh my gosh. Right? But what I love about it is that it's still uh, very true to its roots. Something that that worries us a little bit is losing the culture with so many people coming, the influx of people. But isn't that the benefit of now it being a national treasure because no one can come in here and touch this? Absolutely. So that it one, has to stay. That's why it was so important to, yes, bring in the tourism, but this having a national treasure also brings the tourists without the danger of losing the culture. There's chickens in the back, and they're making sugar cane. You're eating on a wood table, and the lady that made it for you came 50 years ago from Cuba. You know, it's, it's, you can't, you can't re recreate that anywhere else. I Turn. do feel like I'm on vacation you're, right now. Right, you're on vacation, salud. <laughs> salud. Salud. Little Havana, what a treasure it is. And speaking of treasure, you know what the funny thing is, is that you guys get to see all these great moments that we have, but we don't do it alone. We have an amazing team that backs us up every this day. This Eric Rodriguez shot that piece and shoots a lot of our pieces here on NBC6 and Six in the Mix. And we can't do it without him. And of course, our fabulous EP, Alex and Lourdes, our producer. We can do it without them. And Kevin. And Kevin. Let's not forget Kevin. We can't we forget a, everybody. We need a Kevin Cam. We've got everybody that just kind of keeps us in check. Yeah. They're also right. screaming in our ear now to keep us so in check. Going. All right. My favorite <laughs> moment, shall we get to that? Uh, yeah. Sitting down on a gold couch with DJ Khaled. All the things I never thought I would do. Um, <laughs> and sentences I never thought I would say in this business of ours. Yeah. And it was something about a furniture line at El Dorado. Yeah. Here's the deal. We talked about that. Also, his rap game fatherhood and that push present he gave his wife. Take a look. Man, 
walking in, seeing my fans outside, then walking in to see all y'all, and then just the energy in this room. I want the young kids to know we can do anything we want to do. I remember about 12 years ago, I bought my first house. It was the biggest excitement and moment for me and accomplishment for me to have my own house. And it was empty. And I came to El Dorado to buy my furniture. And now I got my own furniture line in El Dorado right now. A divine leader, shine brighter, bonita, mommy, me, the line sniffer, never poetic vibe. She's dripping on me, she know who the one. Two seaters every season, and I just begun. Aquafina, she dripping on the We unify, and we give them the keys and more wins, more success, and more blessings. You look around and you see, you know, I, I can use that piece, I can find a place for that. So I think, uh, yeah, he's hit it in the name. Representing love, and that's what my furniture line represents, being great and the riches of love. And when I say riches, I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about riches of life, and riches of life is nature, flowers, uh, uh, lions, you know, this couch. Gold. Yeah, go like <laughs> just riches of life. But you talk about that a lot. You know, it's the it's we the best furniture. You've got a successful book. Your whole thing is the keys to life, the keys to success, talking about love. Where do you find that positivity and that confidence? Because not everybody can find it. We all go through hard times. I'm not a type of person that's gonna complain. I'm gonna find the solution and overcome and and know the sun's gonna shine on me. And I know God is great. So I tell myself every day. Ballot, stay focused, you know, even if a negative energy come your way, walk away, tighten your circle up, Cali, keep positive people around you that want to win, that's going to uplift you, you know, not just that, I'm a father now. That makes a big difference when you become a yeah, parent. Yeah, so now I'm a, I was like that before I was a father, now I'm a father, so now I'm like, I'm the biggest lover ever. That was pretty good. I know you need that lion in your house. Mm, yeah, he's the best. All right, still more to come right here on Six in the Mix. We bring you our man in the mix, Brandon Lopez, for a fun chat on the top viral videos of the year. Welcome back to Six in the Mix. From memes to viral videos to challenges that don't always seem to make much sense. I don't know about that. They make a lot of sense. There was a lot going online this year. Our man in the mix, Brandon Lopez, is here to break down some of the most popular videos online this year. But my favorite challenge was the Kiki. Do you love me? No? That was actually one of the most viral challenges this year. The In My Feelings Challenge had people doing the same dance Drake did in his music video. Take a look. Now take a look at that. Now this challenge even had people getting out of their cars while they were moving. It caused a lot of incidents, a lot of people got injured, but you know, of course, it's all, you gotta do it for the gram, right guys? Yeah, you have to do a lot of I, things for the I'm gram, I'm sorry, okay? after the first person got hurt, someone should have thought, hey, maybe we should be <laughs> Maybe this is a bad idea. <laughs> the What the Fluff Challenge was very interesting because obviously it had their owners, pet owners, kind of tricking their pets, their dogs, their cats, all you really needed was a blanket, they dropped it, boom and then you just kind of watch their reaction. I think this is hysterical <laughs> and it's really adorable. No. <laughs> I think it's horribly cruel. Why? Is it? Because those poor dogs, their little heads are like, burr, burr. like, where'd you go? I think it's so cute. All I do is say bye, hi, hello. The last song did she said goodbye. Well, Lord, I thought I would cry. She do me. Joe, your yodeling needs a little bit of work, but check this out. The Walmart yodeling kid, 60 million views on YouTube, was on Ellen, got a record contract, has a new single that just came out. It's crazy that we live in a world that a kid yodeling at Walmart went viral. Laurel. This was probably the biggest argument in all of 2018. What did you hear, Laurel or Yanny? Laurel. Laurel. So it's interesting because you actually got, you guys heard correctly. Okay. So the situation was that Laurel was the word that people were looking up on vocabulary.com. Okay. And 
basically the reason why there was kind of that discrepancy was that there were some different sound frequencies and things like that from different websites and whatnot. So that's why people were different were either here Laurel or Yanni. So so this was actually the top trending video on all of YouTube this year. It was Kylie Jenner announcing her pregnancy to YouTube. the world. Yeah. And it was posted on YouTube and it got more than 78 million views on YouTube. That's insane. And I don't know why, but we live in a world that the most watched video wasn't something about learning, yeah, but it was actually about the Kardashians. Well, how about the top music videos of the year? So the top music videos on YouTube this year was starting off with the number three was Maroon 5 with Girls Like oh, You. Like you 1.4 billion with a B. That's insane. Number two was Nicki Jam's Equis, the is remix. It? Which was that one? Um, Go ahead, sing it. <laughs> I'm, yeah. not, you know, I'm not ready to sing. Getting all shot on, my voice. on us. <laughs> not there yet. And ah. number one, winning the top trending music video on YouTube was Bad Bunny's Te Volte. A lot with, of people's theme song this year. Yo Te Volte. That was everybody's favorite, my least te favorite te. personally, but 1.45 billion. Here's the coolest fact of all. What? Eight of the top 10 trending videos on YouTube for music videos were all Spanish language. That's huge. Brandon Lopez, thank you so much for keeping us up to speed and Thank in the mix. <laughs> Anytime. For more viral video fun, head on over to NBC6.com slash six in the mix and search gone viral. I'm going to put a video on. Reggaeton. It's not reggaeton, baby. <laughs> we'll be back. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. It has been a busy year in Hollywood. That's right, and joining us now with the top headlines of 2018 are Kit Hoover and Scott Evans of Access Hollywood. Hi guys, how are you? We're good, thanks oh, for yeah. having us on again. Oh no, we, we love having you guys on, but let's start off with the big wedding of the year, the royal wedding, Harry and Meghan Markle. Cool. First of all, when you say big wedding now, I'm thinking Nick and Priyanka Chopra, right? but you are <laughs> right with this. That one was insane. Crazy. And yeah, it made us kind of compare to the royal wedding. Yeah. We loved all the celebrities that showed up over there. Yeah, and I think also being there, having a presence at the show, you and Natalie went there to be there, to see all the action, to see all of the people. The pomp and circumstance yeah. of that wedding was incredible. Yeah. And it was really cool, guys, because it was at Windsor, sort of this tiny town, so you felt so removed. They did such a good job of sort of including everybody in the press. You really felt like you were a part of it. And remember, guys, all the drama with her dad? Yes. 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 Who can't relate to that that unfolded? You always have one kind of weird family member it happened to be her dad that was causing some drama. So I was thinking, oh my, who's going to walk her down the aisle? Then yeah. Prince Charles uh, stepped in. So we were glued to all of that. Can we just come out and say it? Obviously, the honeymoon was a lot of fun, too, because bam, <laughs> there's another royal She's baby on the way. What did you say? Because bam. Bam. <laughs> Boom. I got to say, over here, and I don't know if y'all were doing this, we were speculating the whole time. Yeah. Is she pregnant? Yes. Is she not? But yes. we're saying no. And we said, oh, there's a baby bump in there. Remember, she started wearing the peplums? Yeah. All those dresses. This kind of thing. The, the kind I'm not pregnant, by the way, but I think this is a <laughs> and it hides things. And so I was so happy. And I think that a lot of people had that moment yeah. of being so happy for them. And he, I always go back thinking about Harry losing his mom mm -hmm. and how yeah. proud she'd be of the boys and really excited that I think they both wanted a family. They wanted it quickly. But we're just going to have to wait and see what 2019 holds for them. But we wish them the best of love and success. And speaking Indeed. of success, Black Panther was a huge success this year. Go ahead. Wakanda, Wakanda forever. forever. It was. <laughs> you already know. I mean, a billion dollars worldwide on a film and a franchise that that, that the studio didn't really even know yeah. was going to be able to, to stand in the franchise with the Avengers. To see the world oh. come out and support Black Panther, Chadwick Boseman as Black Panther. I wanted to be uh, Black Panther for Halloween. Yeah. Why that was cool it? to see all the little kids that were dressing up as, as this. What was neat about this movie is so much hype around it. We're yeah. talking about forever and it beyond delivered. Mm -hmm. Okay, so something that perhaps was yeah. not as successful, but maybe not the biggest surprise, the relationship with Ariana Grande and Pete Davidson. Uh, we kind of called it as far as mean. maybe not lasting forever, uh, but in all seriousness, I don't know what you, mean. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, you look shocked. No, is that not a shocked face? Uh, I, no, I, well, I thought they were going the whole time. I thought they were going all we the way. We thought this one had legs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this one had wheels it was going to go. One thing, though, that we did love is 
who doesn't love love? The googly yeah. phase when mm -hmm. we they kind of took us along mm -hmm. on that journey was really sweet. It was. And then the thing I don't like about the breakup, I, we kind of all knew maybe it wasn't going to last. But gosh, the way that um, bad people on social media, yes. bad people. What am I, some eighty year old? Trolling. He trolls you. And bullying. <laughs> bullying. He, Kind of, I, I mean, at one point he had to he had to come out and say on social media for all those out there who are trying yeah. to get me to kill myself, I I'm will not, not do it. And thank you for the people who have shown me love and care and compassion during this time. I mean, it, it's incredible to think. I mean, everyone was talking about this yes. engagement, this relationship. I mean, he had a tattoo. Yeah, no, they both on did. his ears, day three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. but do you guys three. think so? You know, I just hope they can be sweet talking about the trolls on social media and people really were awful to him but should this be a lesson for other young celebrities perhaps to not put their business out there on social media quite as quickly or at all I don't know Justin and Haley what do you think yeah exactly <laughs> Justin and Haley Gwyneth oh, Paltrow just said TMI on one of their posts I mean because they are all over the I place I know but it. I like it it's sort of like I want people to live their life and be authentic and Social media is just crazy. I think you can't win whichever way you do it, but I can't stand the trolls that just do stuff to be mean. Especially, Pete has talked about his mental health in the right. past, yeah, and I just right. think you never know what somebody is going through. And absolutely, but I think as a, as a sign to other celebrities, you know, uh, share. Share yeah. as much as you can. Let it out. Because, well. you know, the more you share, the more we had to talk about. It's well. job security. Yeah. Stop sharing. Job security well, for us. Speaking. <laughs> we like exactly. it all. Thank you for that perfect segue, <laughs> because speaking of sharing, the Kardashians are always oh. sharing. But unfortunately, we had to suffer a little bit with Khloe Kardashian and the cheating scandal that happened. Oh. I mean, are they still together? Will it last? What do you guys think? Are you taking bets? Look, 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 it's gone. We're taking bets <laughs> over here. First of all, I said to him, what is wrong? With, this is two days before she delivered uh, oh, the oh, baby. Horrible. You can't hang on a little while longer. I My auntie would say, baby. Baby, baby. <laughs> like, oh. And did y'all see, we played the clip when they were in the delivery room. Chloe's in the bed about to deliver the baby. Mm -hmm. And uh, he Kim. leans in. Let's do the hug. He, oh, no, with Kim. This we, was the hug so for Kim, Kim. Kim is sitting next to the bed. Chloe's in the bed, and she's looking, and, and I'm Tristan. And this is the hey. It was an awkward mm -hmm. leaning, and then he leans over, remember, to touch her in the bed. Like, don't touch her don't face. Touch her face. Too much. Too much. Don't, 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 go, don't, go, don't go there. Don't, don't, don't go, go there. Don't, don't go, go there. there. It was definitely a little cold in there. But can we talk about Chloe? Like, I appreciate that. That is the father of her daughter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have this moment one time. She put mm -hmm. everything aside to have him in there for that special moment. Well, Kim, I'm gonna I'm see. I'm gonna see. Maybe not everything aside. She did name the baby True. That's true. True. That is true for true. For true, true. for true. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a constant reminder, bruh. You know who else is still running things? Lady Gaga. Ooh, a star is born. That was a big hit also in the box office. Don't pull up my picture. We dressed as her for Halloween and it still haunts Scott. Um, this movie, we're not doing it. Did y'all see? <laughs> Did y'all see the movie theaters? I thought I was in this movie. It was, I mean, talk about her transformation. Well, no, give us a you little think of singing. Lady Gaga Come on. and all the great stuff from music. Incredible. Wait, what'd you say? Can you just sing for us? Can a you give bit? us your best Lady Gaga kit? No. Let's go. Come on, kid. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no. no, no. <laughs> Come on, kid. Come on. Come on. Come on. Y'all. They dressed me up at that moment. It's not singing. They have this thing of me pretending to be her when she's in the drag bar. The and they took my eyebrows away. She did and it was it was really <laughs> quite frightening. And I didn't want to be it is. I'm going to find it for y'all. And Scott, I'll send it to him randomly. It is. Just to haunt him. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Uh, this movie, with everything coming out, it's going to get great yeah. nominations. I remember sitting in the movie theater and, you know, kind of being worried about uh, Gaga's first real foray into uh, the, the big Huge. screen. Yeah. And really having to deliver. At one point, they're, si they're standing on the stage and it's Bradley Cooper and... and uh, uh, Lady Gaga, and they start singing Shallow, and they're swaying on the stage. And I realized that we are swaying in our seats yeah. right along with them. <laughs> and I looked over, and I was like, Oh, <laughs> we are in. We <laughs> are in. You just can't help but love this movie, the soundtrack. Yeah. Oh. Ah. And she's so alley in this, and the way she and Bradley Cooper, remember then all those tacky rumors started, mm -hmm. because the chemistry was so good. Why do you think it's tacky? Because I don't think it was. Now she's engaged to somebody, and, <laughs> and he's with Irina Shank, and they've got their baby. But and you remember when she uh, kind of announced the engagement, she showed up on a carpet and was like, I'm engaged. Hi. Mm -hmm. And Hi. nobody cared. Nobody's yeah. like, are you? Hi. What? <laughs> so, Everyone.
And oh. some, but their chemistry was so great on screen. Mm -hmm. What a movie. I yeah. love it. And you guys have such a great chemistry. Please promise us one thing. 2019, you're going to make your way to South Florida. Come sit with us here on our couch on Six in the Mix and hang out with us. Promise? Done. Promise. No Control room, problem. any bosses in there? We love Miami. We I'm love you too. Right now. We are Thank coming. You. This is oh, going to be great. No Happy problem. New Year. No I have, one, I have one here. request. Yes, sir. Yes. I have one request. Uh huh. Tequila. Oh, 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 oh that's our drink. Are that you is our me? drink. Done. You, you are talking to the right lady, yeah. sir. Yeah. On the rocks, boo boo. All right, On the guys, rocks. thank you so much. <laughs> Check <laughs> out Access Check Weeknights at 7.30 right here on NBC.